I need y'all to take out your liquor, your beer, your wine, your coffee, your juice, your milk, whatever you sip on. Because I got some tea to spill. I ain't lying. I couldn't wait to come home and make this video. I was at work when I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw on the community page a whole bunch of posts. I was like, wait, what's happening? Something is going on here. Y'all haven't seen these posts yet? Okay, so let me put you on game, right? By the way, this is all speculation. I don't know what's going on. I have no insight. I am not in communications with either party, but I'm putting two and two together and something's happening. Something is brewing in the YouTube streets. Let me explain. So one day ago, OG Wise posts on the community page, yes, I'm coming, I got you, trust. As y'all know, I had a death in the family. Actually, I didn't know because I don't follow you, OG. I know nothing about your backstory. I've never seen any of your videos, so I didn't know, but I guess some people did. And with all that's going on, I saw the YouTube drama shaking my head. You think people would have respect for that. If some people don't know, how can they respect it? But regardless of the situation, my condolences to you and your family. I know how it feels like I've lost three people in my close circle, the little circle that I have. I've lost three people and they were all young. One at 18 years old, one at 33 years old, and one at 35, okay? So I know how that feels. But we're not the only ones that go through this shit. Life still continues. So drama will still continue, especially if you involve yourself in it. Okay? Just had to throw that out there. I know when it's time to fall the fuck back. I see others have no respects. So my tolerance level was already low before all this YouTube drama kicked off the other day. I haven't really been able to focus. I'll say things in my community because I haven't made a vid addressing anything yet. I just like to tap in with my people. I appreciate your patience and support one. Ever since this whole cease and desist has been sent out to certain reactors, everyone disappeared. So we know that something for real was sent out. Okay, Nick and Carla even disappeared. I'm like, ladies, where y'all been? Like what's happening? I need to know what's going on with y'all. But I see King's Corner doing some shorts, indirectly sending out messages, you know, to certain people. And Nick and Carla have been reposting older vids on that YouTuber, y'all know who I'm talking about. So with all that happening, I'm like, okay, I'm thinking OG Wise and Graham sent out these letters to King's Corner and Nick and Carla. That's what I'm thinking. King's Corner for sure, because there is no direct videos happening. So I'm like, okay, I'm the only one in this YouTube streets doing my thing. I'm like, what's happening? I need to know. I need, I need y'all to speak too. So today I'm at work. I'm on my break. I work second shift. All of a sudden I see a post on Graham's community page. She says, what up gang? I need a huge favor. Would you so kindly email me with all screenshots of my mugshots, my personal info, addresses, all ill comments, verbal too, videos and posts, new and old, from those reaction channels and discords. Y'all know who they are. That's been consistently, negatively reacting to my page for the last three years. Please and thank you. I'm like, girl, you really out here trying to collect your data and collect the documents and collect these videos and posts. I thought Easy and Natalie were the only ones that had minions, but you over here trying to collect your minions to do all your dirty work for you? Like what happened? You can't do your own research? Isn't this for you? So when I read this, to me, I took it as, okay, she's not satisfied with the response from the reactors when she sent out the cease and desist. So she's probably gonna move forward to legal action. I'm thinking that's why she need all this to present in court. So she says reaction channel. So I don't know what channels, most likely King's Corner, most likely Nick and Carla. Um, and if it's me, cool. I doubt it because my channel is smaller, but if it's me, cool. But she said the past three years and then they were consistently reacting. So I just started reacting to the bitch and uh, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue because that's what reaction channels are on YouTube. You know, we use fair use. So we're legally able to use their footage and give our commentary. So you're not gonna win that battle with me. Second thing is, all my videos are opinions and my thoughts. I'm not speaking factual, so you're gonna lose that battle with me with um, defamation of character. And the third thing is, you're not gonna win with me because I definitely will have an attorney and I will win this shit. You know, it regardless. <laughs> I don't mind spending time in court. I'm my own boss, okay? 
I can leave a contract anytime I want to, my work contract. I doubt it's about me because I didn't even get a cease and desist letter, so I doubt it. But I'm like, damn, this bitch is really moving forward. Like, she's really in her feelings. Then I go back to work and I go on to my next break. As I'm just scrolling, scrolling, going back to older posts that people are posting that I must have missed. And sure enough, Nick and Carla posted on their community page, checkmate. I'm like, okay, something good happened. Because you only say checkmate when you win a battle or a game or some drama, right? I'm like, what these bitches do? <laughs> Nick and Carla, let me find out. What y'all do? What happened? So I'm like, okay, I started thinking. I'm like, I started putting two and two together. I'm like, hold on. When were these posts posted? So I go back to Graham's. Hers was posted three hours ago. I go back to Nick and Carla. Theirs was posted four hours ago. That means whatever Nick and Carla is doing behind the scenes, they did something that really made them feel good. And one hour later for Graham's to post a list of things she needs made me wonder, did Nick and Carla send over court paperwork or documents to her? Nick and Carla look very confident with their post and reading Graham's post again, I'm like, damn, this bitch sounds scared. This bitch sounds worried. She looks like she's panicking and she needs everything and she needs everything now. I think Nick and Carla sent her some legal shit and now she's got to find a way to defend herself. That's what I'm thinking, y'all. This is all speculation, like I said. This is just how my brain works, you know, when it comes to drama. I kind of put two and two together. I'm like, oh, something's happening here. We got to figure this out. If Nick and Carla was sent that letter of that cease and desist, and if Grams was portraying to be an attorney or had an attorney on that paperwork and that, and that letter turned out to be fake you do know legally that the other person that you sent it to can sue you for that fake documentation that can actually get the person who sent it into some trouble depending on what the letter said you can get charged for extortion for blackmail there's a lot that goes into this whole leg legality shit depending on the states depending on the internet how everything works it's very complicated but the person sending the cease and desist letters do not have full control of anything. Absolutely nothing. It's the judge in the courthouse. It's the attorneys. So you trying to scare people can get you into some trouble if what you're accusing of them of is false. And if you think these reactors are harassing you or are making your life a living hell and causing you to lose employment, or not being able to be employed or got you into a bad mental state to where you need to see therapists, psychologists, and get, and, or you got hospitalized. If you can show proof of all of that, then you got a good case, especially if your cease and desist letter is real. But if that motherfucker is fake, that shit can be reversed on you. And Nick and Carla is smart, okay? They think before they do things. Not to say, again, that this is what's happening. But my brain is going crazy right now. It can be anything. These two posts probably don't have nothing to do with each other <laughs> at all. But I'm in the YouTube streets and I was cruising around and I just so happened to see this post. Kept on cruising, happened to see that post. I'm like, well, shit, let my brain do its work. Okay, let me just put two and two together and let me think what happened. <laughs> so this is just my opinion but something is happening because grams looks like she's panicking and she's skirt she's skirt i haven't used that word in a minute skirt did that show my age yeah i'm 38 yeah i know it was cool back then but i need to know guys am i the only one that thinks this am i wrong am i overthinking it am i creating something that's not there is it my imagination or am i that fucking good that i got this shit right <laughs> y'all let me know comment below and let me know what you think what is your opinion on these posts? All right, y'all, stay tuned because I got another reaction coming. Peace.